Hi guys, welcome back to Merv, Bonsai with Merv. What I'd like to do today is, um, uh, it, you know how notorious I feel about growing your own cottage and picking up uh, inexpensive plants at the nursery in order to make a bonsai, okay? Now this um, is a cutting maybe about two years old that's been developing pretty nicely in the nursery. What it is, it's a silver-leafed hawthorn. But here in Georgia, this is the variety that grows on a consistent basis almost anywhere you go. You go up US 16 uh, from Macon to uh, Savannah and you'll see them at the intersection. Wherever there's a, a road going overhead, you will see them growing on the bank. They are beautiful, silver leaf hawthorn. Iliagnus macrophilia. This particular Iliagnus is an import. The leaf structure is different, as you can see. The leaf is a smaller leaf and it's a slender leaf, but still has silver on the back as, uh, as the macrophile. Okay? So, this particular one I'm going to work with, and uh, like I say, the, the macrophylla can be worked with, can be bonsai also. However, this particular one will fill in a lot tighter and the leaf structure is a lot smaller, which lends itself a lot better to a bonsai than the other one will. Okay? So, uh, first of all, you need to turn this baby, move it around, and once again, we're looking for a bonsai tree in this mess. Okay? And then we're looking, once we see the tree, we also hope to find the front of the tree. What we're going to use is the front. And of course, this, this plant is leading me in one particular direction. See, right off the bat, this particular growth I don't really like it, and I don't like the way it's coming out, so I'm just going to remove that. And look what, look what we have growing there, just by removing that piece. Sure, it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? So even with a little bit of tilt, here's movement coming up. And uh, we got some, some smaller branches here, uh, some thicker branches, so what if I just remove don't worry about that. Removing that. Uh, how about this one? Remove that. Oh, look at that. Starting to develop very nicely, huh? Okay, here, this particular one, too big for the top. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate this and just work that as the top of the tree. Uh, we have a double branch growing here. Let's leave one facing us. That one is not healthy anymore. We'll take that one off. There's one here, so we do not need this branch here. Too overpowering. Um, what I should do is release the length on that. Okay. That's going to be sticking right out this way. Once we get it going, tipping the branches and tipping them so that they will take off. They will restructure, rebranch, redevelop just the way we want them. Tipping them off nicely. Okay. This branch is a little bit too long. Uh, I always like to at least leave a leaf on the branch, uh, a little bit of a memory situation for the, the plant. Uh, okay, take that one off there. Yeah, that one a little bit shorter. And this one a little bit shorter. And here we are. Kind of radical, isn't it, huh? But less is more. You need to understand that. And uh, believe me, I honestly feel that I leave more branches on a plant than the average bonsaiist will do, will allow. Okay? Now, let me see where I'm at. Some wire. 
That's why of this baby before. And believe it or not, I'm going to use a little bit heavier wire. That's that branch to that branch. That goes from there to there. That's that piece. I'm going to anchor it on here, come up the trunk, and anchor it on here. Right, and then this one. That's number two. Now, that's a piece of wire going up here. It's always a good idea before you mess with the root system because it is stable in that grow pot. So before we mess with the root system, let's uh, make sure that we wire all of the branches. Because this is our shaping. Okay, this will go into that branch around the trunk, anchor in the, the wire, now along this top section. Okay, finish wiring this, very careful, not too tight, make sure you use wrist movement, that helps. Now for a piece on the top, for the apex, so then we can shape the apex. I'm going to anchor it down here, get one or two twists on the trunk, give us stability, and now gently up. Right over there. No, we're not going to keep this branch. Uh, take that off. Right. And now, um, in fact, that is pretty full. What I really would like to do, and I did not prepare for it, so I will show another section, uh, segment later, a tip later, on what I do with this trunk structure, because it it's pretty full, the new, the new roots have taken over pretty nicely, it feels nice and strong. What I do want to do is open up the flap a little bit and put it in a wider pot. I do not want to put it into a bonsai pot yet, I do want it to grow a little bit more. But uh, before that happens, uh, let's put some movement into our branch here. Number one branch. Okay. This will be a back branch, number two branch coming in to this point, another back branch situation here, and the apex, let's lean it. And there we are, a bonsai in training. Iliaglis, not macrophilia, which is its cousin, but uh, a variety that is similar to. And they are great northern people, you northerners who do not mind the cool weather. This will handle cool weather also. It will handle a freeze. Okay, appreciate you. Thank you for joining me. Making another bonsai with Bonsai with Merv. Should you be checking us out on Facebook? Please show us how much you like us, and then let's get into a discussion about this plant or anything else that you would have in mind. And should you be checking us on YouTube, uh, how about prescribing to us? Let us know what you think. I thank you very, very much for joining me, joining me and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.